Super Rugby folks, round number seven. We'll try and fly through this one because my neighbor's got a chainsaw guy cutting down some trees and stuff. Um, and it's pretty bloody noisy. First game, battle down south. Crusaders and Highlanders. It's, uh, it's all to do for the Highlanders, man. They have been under the pump this season. They are none from five. The Crusaders have dropped one at home, but it was to the Chiefs. And look what they did to the Chiefs uh, in payback last week and the crusaders have picked a, a pretty strong side so it doesn't look like it's going to be an easy one what is that a truck backing up it's all on folks um the crusaders have kind of made minimal changes joe moody's back at loose head which is good news fletcher newell gets a start uh at tight head drummond and Bryn hall do the thing where they swap which they seem to do every other week um Sever reese gets a start after adding some real good impact last week from the bench You've still got Fainga, Nuku, and Havili in the midfield. I kind of like that, the distributing, kicking guy, and the big unit. Um, I do think they're a combo that works pretty well. Moonga's still there at 10. So Matera's back on the bench. Enor's back on the bench. Um, yeah, it's, it's a pretty dynamic and forceful-looking Crusader side who will not be looking to lose a game at home. And to be honest, I know we talk about all the flashy stuff the Crusaders can do. Their ruck percentage, like the ultimate basics, right? Securing your own ball at ruck time. Guess what? They're the number one team in the competition for securing their own ball. Like not ma not much higher. The rates are pretty marginal. Like most teams are well on the ninety percent, but it just so happens the Crusaders are the highest, ninety six point six. So yeah, that doesn't surprise me that they're doing the basics so well. Um, the Highlanders, like I mentioned, none from five. Um, it's uh, yeah, it's not been going that well for them, but they have shown glimpses of what they can do. Connor Garden Bishop's in at fullback this time. Sam Gilbert shifts from the 15 jersey to 14, and he was bloody good uh, last week against the Blues. Hold on a second. Right, that was about a three-second pause while the chainsaw was going for some brief cut. Um, Gregory and Pai are still in the midfield, and Gregory actually kind of exceeded my expectations uh, last week as well. Mikaeli 2 is coming at number 8. He's alongside Lynches and Frizzell, so it's a pretty tidy looking back row. Aaron Smith still captain. He's at 9. Hunt's still at 10. Um, someone else mentioned it. It's not the most experienced back line you will see. Somebody mentioned that last weekend. Yeah, to be fair, there's not a heck of a lot of caps, even at this level, for this Highlander side. So they're, they're up against it when you consider they're up against uh, you know, some, some proper regular All Blacks in that Crusader side. Uh, for the forwards, Makaleo, former Crusaders, up against his old team at Hooker. Uh, Honick gets a start. Bryn Evans is in the side. Um, Denny Solomona is on the bench, seeing as he signed for the Highlanders. That's a, a bit of cool news. We haven't seen him playing in New Zealand for a long time since he's come back from England. Um, and yeah, Fakatava's on the bench. Stats-wise, the Highlanders concede more clean breaks than any of the Super Rugby teams, including the Aussie ones. So... When they're getting cut, like the beaten defensively, it's just like that chainsaw. They're getting cut. Do I need to pause? We'll pause. Yeah, so they're they're averaging six and a half clean breaks conceded a game. The average across the competition is four and a half. So yeah, it's not good. When the defense is failing, it's kind of catastrophic failures. And um, catastrophic failure is what is expected this weekend when the uh, when they play Crusaders by 15 with the bookies and 14 with the rugby forecast algorithm. The other Friday game is from Australia. It's from the Gold Coast, I believe. Uh, the Drew are taking on the Tars. The Drew are 1-5. and five. The Tars 3-3. Three and three. So it's a 50-50 record for the Tars. The Drua couldn't get it done over the uh, the Rebels last week, and the Rebels have actually started to tick along. So in terms of the Aussie conference, or not, it's not even a conference, but the Aussie teams, um, it's going to be interesting to see where the, the Drua actually finish up. They've made a few changes. Revolvo uh, moves to the 13 jersey this week. Uh, Caleb Muntz, interestingly, steps up at 12. Um, they've still got Habosi on that left wing, and he has been probably the most dangerous winger in Super Rugby at least in the Aussie side that we've seen thus far. He's been an absolute revelation. Um, they've brought Tawaki to start up at tight head prop. Uh, Uli Kippa has moved from tight head to loose head. Excuse the pronunciation. Um, and uh, yeah, it looks like they've gone with a 6-2 split on the bench with only the two, um, two backs. Now, stats-wise, when we talk about this Fiji team, um, it, it, it fits with the stereotype. People go on about how these Fijian guys are just physical, massive, strong guys. They beat more defenders than anybody else in Super Rugby so far this season. 
Um, you know, the average is 19 defenders beating the game. The draw are at 26. So these guys, even if they're losing, are literally putting guys on their backside. So very big ball carriers. But they got the worst line out in the competition. The line out needs to improve. It's, it's ticking along, but it needs kind of, you know, big improvement. Like uh, it's in the 70s in terms of its percentage. For the Tars, big news is that Michael Hooper is back, albeit on the bench. We've been kind of waiting for him uh, to come back into the side and we get to see him at last. Um, Gus Bell is also back. Isa Parise is back. So it's a stronger look inside than the one that lost to the Reds last week. Um, Parise has just been an absolute unit. Uh, Fouquetti shifts to 12. Hugh Sinclair is into the back row. Uh, Charlie Gamble's at 7 from 6. There's no... Uh, Tizano this week, but um, Vosiato is there on the bench. He's a bit of a live wire, so we'll see if he gets much game time. Um, Peach is starting this week, and Newsom has shifted back to fullback. So yeah, they've um, they've certainly chopped and changed things around a bit. Jamie Roberts drops to the bench to make way for uh, Parise. Stats-wise, the Waratahs uh, are actually conceding the fewest clean breaks of any of the sides in Super Rugby. Their defense is not just being cut open like that bloody chainsaw. So the average across all the teams is 4.6. The Tars are just at 2.7. So yeah, pretty tight in terms of keeping their defensive structures. But their penalties conceded is the worst in the competition. They're giving away more penalties than anybody else. Predictions wise, the Waratahs by eight with the bookies and one with the algorithm. We will see how things go. Um, yes, that was a little bit disrupted, but we got the job done, folks. You guys let me know your thoughts. I'm still waiting on the Blues to name their side before we can have a look at the Saturday and the Sunday game. I think every other team is out. It's just we're waiting on the Blues. So we'll see how we go and we'll see how long these guys take to cut down that tree or whatever the hell they're doing. But um, yeah, take care, folks, and I'll talk to you again. So, see you later.